On a beautiful summer's day, you just can't beat a country road in a convertible. But the problem with English summers is that they're short and our winters are long. And in winter, well, it would be ideal to own a car capable of doing this. Well, what do you know? Land Rover have come up with a solution to that particular problem, with this. This addition to the Range Rover family is being billed as the world's first luxury compact SUV convertible. And this car for all seasons, the Evoque convertible, is equally at home in a muddy field, a snowdrift, on a shopping trip or on a hot summer's day. Some clever engineering means that below the window line the Evoque shape hasn't been compromised at all. Whilst up top you get a vast Z-fold fabric roof, which gives the convertible the same silhouette as the coupe when it's up. And when it's dropped, which takes just 18 seconds, you're left with a completely clean line and a very different but equally striking look. Now you can probably argue that as far back as the Series 1 there have been convertible Land Rovers, but let's be honest, they've been of a more utilitarian nature. I'm thinking farmers' field and battlefields and not the boulevards of Beverly Hills, which is where this is bound to end up. Now, just like the standard Evoque before it, this car is breaking completely new ground. And that in itself will be a problem for some people. I'll be honest, my first reaction when I first saw a photograph of one was pretty mixed. But the more I've seen it, the more it's grown on me. And now it's here, I'm really quite glad that it is. Inside it feels just as comfortable and luxurious as you'd expect from any car bearing the Range Rover badge. But what you notice straight away is that you have to step up into it. You know, we're so used to sitting in low slung two seater convertibles that at first it feels a bit strange to be in a proper four seater with this high driving position and commanding view of the road. But you know, one of the things from a woman's perspective that can be a bit of a problem with convertibles is that you can feel quite vulnerable in them. You're very low down, you're open to the elements. There's a sense that you're not that protected. And I just don't have that in here at all. It feels very secure, very cosseted. And that's undoubtedly down to the driving position. As you'd expect from its upmarket image, the Evoque convertible is only available in top spec trim levels, HSE Dynamic and HSE Dynamic Lux, meaning that you'll want for nothing when it comes to luxury or technology. Most of the interior is covered in leather, and even the plastic has a high quality, luxurious feel. This is the HSE Dynamic, and it comes with extras like LED headlights, a heated windscreen, heated leather electric seats, 20-inch alloy wheels and onboard cameras. It's also packed with some really lovely touches, like the good size glove box, which locks automatically along with the central locking system, so you can leave your valuables in it when the roof's down. And the rotary gear dial, which just elegantly rises up when the engine starts. There are also good sized cubby holes in the doors, plenty of storage spaces, and all the power points you need tucked away in here. But the main event in here is the arrival of this, a new infotainment system. The Evoque convertible is the first Land Rover product to be fitted with their very latest in-control touch pro system. And it bundles sat-nav, stereo, telephone and climate control functions into a 10.2 inch touchscreen, which is 80% larger than the screen you'll get in other Evokes. It's a fantastic system to use because you can swipe through the screens and pinch and zoom just as you would with your tablet or smartphone. I mean, families are going to absolutely love getting online on the move and it's synced seamlessly with my smartphone and it does some really clever things. It will track your car if it gets stolen and alert the owner. It can connect up to eight devices at once and it will even help you find your car if you forget where you've parked it in a busy car park. It never happens to me. Honest. It's the kind of tech that we're now beginning to expect in this part of the market and it's moved Land Rover's in-car connectivity onto another level. When it comes to practicality, well, you can comfortably sit four people in the Evoque convertible and the two in the back, well, they won't be moaning too much at all. Getting in and out is actually fine, as is the legroom. And as for the headroom, well, it's obviously fine with the roof down. And even with the roof up, which takes 21 seconds, slightly longer than on the way down, there's still plenty of headroom in here. 
Now, you're not going to get a third passenger here in the middle, but you do get two Isofix child seat points, and getting child seats in and out is actually quite easy. The seats are also really comfortable, and I like the family touches in here, good sized door bins, and nets on the back of the front seats. But those back seat passengers won't be able to carry much luggage. Storage space is almost on a par with a Ford Fiesta, and you can't fold the rear seats down, although you can opt for a ski hatch, which gives you a little bit more flexibility. You know, it's a shame that the boot doesn't hinge and open from the bottom because it would make it a lot more practical. But let's be honest, you're not buying this car because it's a load lugger. You're buying it because it turns heads out on the road. Now when it comes to engines, you have a choice of two, a two litre petrol or a two litre diesel. They're both paired with a slick nine speed automatic gearbox. This is the diesel. It'll cover 0 to 60 in just over 10 seconds before hitting a top speed of 121 miles an hour. Now, cutting the top off any car presents some pretty big challenges and can often lead to a jittery, really uncomfortable ride. But this is comfortable and it's very quiet on the road. Land Rover has reinforced the chassis and added extra bracing, along with a rollover protection system, which deploys in no less than 90 milliseconds should a rollover be detected. But despite all that, it rides, steers and corners well, albeit with a fair amount of body roll into the corners because of all that extra bulk. But the steering does provide plenty of feedback, and it's just a really easy car to cruise around town in, with plenty of power there when you need it. And let's face it, cruising around town is what most buyers in this car are going to do. There is a rather large blind spot right over my shoulder there at the back, but the 360 degree cameras which come fitted as standard take care of that. And with the roof up I am aware of a bit of engine noise, but let's not forget that this thing weighs almost two tonnes, it's a real beast, so that engine is working pretty hard. One thing I'm not aware of though is wind. Even at higher speeds the vast fabric hood keeps things snug and pretty quiet in here. So what's it like with the top down okay let's give it a try because the beauty of this car is that at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour you can operate the hood which is perfect for a very changeable British summer and even with the roof down it's still quiet and not too blustery particularly if you opt for the rear wind deflector which covers the back seats and can fold up and be stored in the boot when you need to carry passengers now don't think for a minute because this is a car born to spend its days on Rodeo Drive that this soft top has gone soft. It comes with the same off-road driving tech as the standard Evoque, so there are different off-road driving modes along with hill descent control. The only obstacle you'll encounter on your off-road adventures are likely to be low-hanging branches. But of course any car with the words luxury, SUV and convertible in its billing won't come cheap, and this one certainly doesn't. You may get a lot of kit for your money, but you're definitely going to pay for it. This is one of the most divisive cars that I've driven in a very long time. And I know that some of you out there, well, let's just say you're probably not big fans, but I think Land Rover have really hit on something here. Look, I'm well aware that I'm probably the target audience. I'm a woman for starters. I like fashion, I'm in my forties. But I didn't ever think I'd see the day when a convertible SUV would be a thing. And now that it's here, I'm very glad that it is. The Range Rover Evoque doesn't have any direct rivals, but if you're in the market for a premium four-seater drop top, then take a look at our BMW 4 Series convertible review by clicking left, or for the normal Range Rover Evoque review, click right. Click the play icon for our latest video, and don't forget to subscribe.